Hi there, my name is Matt Cole. And I'm Brian Garrity. And we are the producers of the Sexperts Podcast. And before we begin the show, we want to give a huge thanks to our guest during this episode, Alba Woolard. She is a it's very... Like- what? Woo and lard, <laughs> but with only one L. Woo and lard. Woo lard. Woo lard, but with only one L. <laughs> she is a very talented uh, and funny comedian from uh, the Hampton Roads area, and she's moving off to Chicago, unfortunately. She's been a pusher, uh, part of the Push Comedy Theater, for over 10 years. We're very sad to see her go, but very excited. So best of luck to her, and thank you for being on the podcast. Taught us a lot of what we know. Absolutely. Um, we'd also like to give a special thanks to the Push Comedy Theater and all of our Patreon supporters. Go to patreon.com backslash podcast. And uh, yeah, you're working on your New Year's budget. Mix in a dollar a month for the sex words. <laughs> we also like to uh, give you a heads up about some exciting uh, comedy shows coming up. Uh, the first week in January, uh, 10 p.m. on Saturday, that's going to be a monocle, the improvised one act play with me and a bunch of other talented uh, folks. And we also have a sketch comedy show coming up, which uh, Brian will talk to you about. Saturday, January 19th, The Bright Side, featuring mm-hmm. myself, Matt Cole, Andrea Borgignon, and Drew Richard. We'll be taking the stage at Push Comedy Theater for a full-length sketch show at 8 p.m. That's right. And uh, tickets are on sale at pushcomedytheater.com. Uh, if you would like to uh, learn comedy, sketch, stand-up, improv, uh, go on that website, sign up for a class. Uh, it's done wonders for Brian's stand-up career, so <laughs> I can attest to that. Uh, so uh, without further ado, everything you're about to hear is made up on the spot. So please enjoy this next sex episode of... Happy... <laughs> New Year's Spurts. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> baby, 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 turn on your computer, dial up the web, download some information into your head. It's Dr. John and Delilah, they're having a great time. Uh, da da to do it simply true with. Recording and intro music, intro music, intro music, and hi there! Welcome to the Sexperts. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanis, SCPM. Stick That's it. Senior Certified Professional Midwife. Go ahead, go ahead, Delilah. And I'm Delilah. Hey there. Uh, special envoy to North Korea for the NFL. <laughs> I thought that was uh, Dennis Rodman. Uh, he does it for himself. Yeah, he's kind of a freelance. Oh, and probably the NBA. I was hired by the M- NFL to oh. uh, try and scout a new location for an NFL team in North Korea. Yeah, well, um, probably a missile, missile silo. Well, welcome to the Sexperts. We are your Sexperts host. I am. Well, I already did that. Um, we're the Sexperts. Describe the Sexperts in one word. Sex. <laughs> and, Perts. Per- <laughs> so we Is that are two the, words. We are the experts in sex. It's an illusion uh, in uh, English terms. And we're coming to you live from a different location every week. And this week, we are in Chicago. And what is this huge uh, sculpture here that we're in front of? It's metallic and... That is um, RoboCop. (laughs) (laughs) I I love RoboCop. Uh, I I didn't recognize him. It's not a very good good representation. It's an artistic representation. They took some liberties. Yeah. Well, (laughs) I wonder if... I was about to say, I wonder if he ever took liberties. Like, he abused his power like a lot of cops do. Yeah, that's there's there's a statement here for sure. <laughs> Anyways, we are live in Chicago, the old windy city, the twin cities of love, and uh, we're talking about sex. Um, we have a different topic of the week every week, uh, and this week we have one that is very topical, very timely. Uh, speaking of time, Father Time, New Year's, January first. The topic of the day today is New Year's resolutions. Uh, we're talking about. People who, I guess they're in the closet, and for the new year, their resolution is to out themselves as a lesbian. How you do that? How you do that, Delilah? Tell us. Well, I've got a whole chart. Oh, wait. Here's our yeah. guest. Hey, welcome. Hey. <laughs> uh, why don't you introduce uh, yourself to our audience? Uh, my name's Harriet. Uh, you can call me Harry. I uh, will. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks uh, for the permission. Oh, well, that's what normally what I go back. That or Tic Tac. <laughs> you can call me Tic Tac if you want to. That was my prison name. <laughs> Why do they call you Tic Tac in prison? Look at my teeth. Oh. <laughs> they look like Tic Tacs. Did you file them down or were you born like that? Uh, it was a mixture. I was already born with them right narrow, but I filed the sharp parts off because for a while my nickname was Shark. <laughs> because they were thin and pointy. Mm-hmm. But then once I got into prison, I was like, well, I kept biting people. 
<laughs> and then people got mad. So then I was like, well, I guess to control my biting urges, I better just go ahead and, uh, you know, file them down. So I did. And then they switched my nickname from Shark to Tic Tac. <laughs> Wow, this sounds like uh, the origin story of like a super villain. Are you a super? Do you, are you a super villain? <laughs> Wait. So, what was the topic of the day? <laughs> New, New Year's resolutions. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you go to prison, you do a lot of things <laughs> that you never thought you would do. Well, no, I, I mean, I've I been clean since I've been out, though. Uh, good, good. Yeah. I didn't want to call you out because, like. You know, I guess if I were to ask a, a super a super villain, a real life super villain, if they were a super villain, they'd say no, because every super villain is the hero of his own story. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good point. So, what is your story? Where where you come from? Where uh, let's go w- from birth till now. From birth, <laughs> uh, well, I was born in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, mm-hmm. and uh, I lived there for you know majority of uh, my childhood and then this is not a very interesting story so i mean we can go through it no i want to go through it knoxville, knoxville must be an amazing place. yeah is what is knoxville like i've never cool. been there it's like i don't know it's like a city <laughs> so it's got cars been, yeah they got cars and buildings fishing and people fishing, fish lakes <laughs> trees do they have like a july they parade? have a public uh public swimming pool and just I like, one, just for the yeah, whole but town. I, of but I no, I mean I don't know. I only went There's to a one, line but I've been down the street. Uh, and uh, I peed in that part. <laughs> Is there like a north and Most south, like do. Knoxville, where it's like the good part of the town, bad part of the town? Uh, where you like the sharks and the jets? Well, you were you were a shark, right? I am a shark. Were you Is the it? leader of like the the town gang, or yeah. I was. That's actually why I ended up going to prison because oh. I started a gang, and then we would just do like small time crimes. But one yeah. time things got out of hand, and I ended up putting a, a plate glass window through uh, <laughs> the store clerk's abdomen. <laughs> it was an accident, but she died, and so oh. that's why I went to prison. And mm. yeah. Wow, so I told you it's kind of sad. Well, no, that's again, it's your super villain origin story. I love did it. You, did you just happen to pee in this pool, or was it like a rite of passage? <laughs> no, it was a regular <laughs> thing, man. It was like I got to pee. That's how you got into the gang. That was what, yeah. <laughs> I went pee all the time. <laughs> you went in the a pool. Lot. It was like it was like I got to pee pool. Oh. <laughs> People. <laughs> People. Yeah. Oh, speaking of people, let's get to our topic of the day, which is New Year's resolutions. January first comes around quick, so if you're not ready, you better was, have. Was this, your, was this your first Christmas on the outside? This one, it was. It was my first Christmas on the outside since I, I got a job. Now I Good. started up, and you know, business was pretty bit booming during the. Um, what do you do? Uh, I'm a pop up book reading shop <laughs> owner, so like I'll like read. Barnes and Noble comes to you. Uh, yeah, but you have to supply the books, <laughs> but like, but, uh, but I'll read. Oh, you do the reading. Mm, That's yeah. Great. So like for adults, you yeah. know, like when you're a kid, mm-hmm. people read to you, you all know, the time. But when you're an adult, I couldn't you... stop the motherfuckers from reading for me. I'd be on the street corner and be like, Hey kid, you want me to read? And I was like, get the hell out of here. Scat. Scat. Yeah. Well, I, I, I like the service cause a lot of books I want to read aren't on audio tape, audio book. And I, I, don't have, like what? I don't have time or the eyes to read them. Yeah, I can. You I can eyes. do it for you. I have tired eyes. You could read for me. That's I can, great. yeah. Well, and it helps me, too, because, <gasps> you know, every once in a while you come across a word you don't know, and then you learn it from reading. Well, you know. That's a win-win. Delilah um, yeah. coming to the Windy City, he thought he'd be really bored, which you're not so far. So he brought along a, a, a bag of books that he would like to, to read, but... Again, he doesn't have the eyes for it. So why don't you, you get a bag of books? You're, yeah, I did. Uh, despite oh. the TSA's uh, disapproval, <laughs> disapproving looks, oh. <laughs> they were like, I, "I swear to God, he's got a gun in one of these fucking books." Pick up, pick up, uh, pick a book. Yeah, pick a book, and she's she's just gonna reach in here blindly, <laughs> fondle around. God, don't make yeah. it sexual. This is the oh. sex perts, not the book perts. Here you go. <laughs> oh, thanks. What is it? It's how to find your book bag when you lose it in a train station. <laughs> how fitting. You haven't had to use that book once, but just in case, go ahead and read a passage. Sure. Let's see here. This one looks good. Overcoming fear. <laughs> wow. Skip, skip straight to the hard stuff. Yeah. yeah. 
When you lose your belongings, you may find that you have a great deal of fear to deal with. Overcome it in three simple <laughs> steps. Oh, I thought you were going to say <laughs> that was end of chapter. <laughs> Overcome it, bitch. <laughs> hey, swearing. Okay. Oh um, no! Sorry. No more swearing. I forgot, you're, I forgot you're from Knoxville. Yeah, we don't swear. <laughs> Step one: deep breathing techniques. Try breathing from your pelvic floor. Release your pelvic floor for an inhale and tighten your pelvic floor for the exhale. Oh, can is that for men and women or do I have a pelvic floor? It says in parentheses a, for you call a men sexpert. and women. <laughs> oh no, I just I haven't heard it called that. Step 2, <laughs> find someone to hug. Hugging releases endorphins and oh. can make you feel better. <laughs> Oh, this in, in, in dolphins. Uh, <laughs> oh, endorphins uh, is what I said. You have exc- Wait, you have an did accent. Did I read okay? No, you, you have an accent. So oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so anyway, hug a stranger is step two. Okay, not going to do that one. Well, the book recommends it. Yeah. Fuck books. Keep oh. going. Oh. Step three. <laughs> step three. Mm-hmm. Run in circles oh. un- to get out your excess energy and I release the fear back into the universe. All right. I'm going to use those steps to reduce my tension next time I go to North Korea. <laughs> Congratulations. You have now overcome your fear. Yay. That was a great reading. How much does uh, Delilah owe you? Uh, $4,500. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I got lawyer fees. Oh. Ooh. Well, Delilah, that's coming out of your sex birds, uh <laughs> pussy pool. or what's oh. Y'all with your language. I'm, I'm sorry. Did you not curse in prison? I mean, yeah, they did a lot, but I well, didn't. Now she's do out. It. I, she doesn't have to I'm be out. I'm now. clean, you know. I'm like, I'm on clean. the outside. I got a job, man. She's yeah. seeing a dentist. Living. <laughs> I have a dentist. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You know, have you ever noticed when dentists they talk to you, mm-hmm. but you have things in your mouth, yeah, and all you can really say is uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> but then I noticed that. My dentist yeah. says a lot of the same things over and over again. So I'm like, I think that she's figured out that I can't respond. So she just repeats herself. Do we need to call her up or what? I have a new job need to solve idea this. for her. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Andy Rooney died. <laughs> Wait, hold on. hold on. Where are you going with this? At the end of 60 Minutes, they used to have somebody oh. come on. Do you ever notice? <laughs> Okay, sorry. I always get Andy Rooney and Mickey Rooney mixed up. I thought you were going to tell her to to do like a racist Chinese person on like Breakfast at Tiffany's. No, I'm probably not going to do no, that. No, no. I think yeah. she could be a commentator at the end of 60 Minutes and just um, okay. share her wisdom and insights on everyday things like the dentist. Yeah. Well, speaking of mouth things, let's get to our topic of the day, which is New Year's resolutions. And in the new year, if you're thinking about becoming a ever, lesbian, then go for hold it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I need to know more about prison life. Oh. Was there any like arts program there? Did you ever do any plays? Uh, yeah, actually. Oh. There was a good arts program. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we um we did uh um what's the name of that play? We did uh we did Hamlet. Hamlet? Mm-hmm. The Hamlet? Yeah, we did the Hamlet. With all women. I w- mm, I was Hamlet. <laughs> Nice. Why did you say with all women? That's kind of because it's like the opposite of Shakespeare's times. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. When it, yeah. We've come, we've come so far. <laughs> I got I got cast as Hamlet. We used to not allow women. Now we allow women in prison. <laughs> to do Hamlet. So you, how that, how was it being Hamlet? Uh, it was pretty cool. You, you were Hamlet. I was Hamlet. Good listen. I was the Hamlet. <laughs> did you uh, <laughs> did you like stress over whether you should or shouldn't take the role like? To be Hamlet or not to be Hamlet? <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's a, I should have in you know hindsight. I sh- yeah, I knew right away. Because um, <laughs> cause I like Hamlet, you know. What do you like about Hamlet? Oh, okay. Can we be honest? Mm-hmm. This is a safe place. Yeah. Nobody's listening. You're going to. You're going to. This is a safe place. Okay. Like a padded my, cell. First, <laughs> my first inclination toward Hamlet was his name. Okay. Yeah. Because. Because you like ham. Well, because you know what a chicken cutlet is. <laughs> it's a cutlet. I do. Yeah. I do. So a Hamlet would be like a tiny little piece of ham. A little, a little piece of ham. A, 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 maybe fried ham. Maybe it's fried like chicken fried, ham, chicken like a chicken ham. cutlet. You Knoxville bread it, style. fry it. Yeah, it's like chicken fried ham. How, everybody knows Salisbury, Salisbury for steak, Knoxville for ham. Yeah. 
You should open, um, I mean, not to, I mean, you have the book thing going, but you should open Tic Tac's Knoxville Fried Ham. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> sink, your, sink your Tic Tac's into my ham. <laughs> sink your Tic Tac's into my oh, ham. Speaking of sinking my Tic Tac's into my ham, let's talk about New Year's resolutions. But I was trying to explain to you about oh. ham. Oh, keep going, keep going. You yeah. interrupted my no, ham. No, 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 it's, I'm, it's, I'm that's so, more important. Okay. Let's go ahead. Pardon him, he didn't have his meds today. <laughs> Did you take your meds today? I don't. I am not on uh, any prescription medications. I. I He's I'm, in denial today. Oh my god! I like uh, homeopathic medicine, so I just take a drop, a drop, just a little drop, oh, just yeah. a drop of uh, of blood, chicken blood, in my in my soup in the morning. Now that sounds like salmonella waiting to happen. <laughs> if we're going to be honest, imagine being that chicken. He just extracts one drop of blood every yeah, day. Yeah, where's the, where you, do you keep you know the chicken? You know it's, it's coming. It's so wasteful. I kill a chicken and just for that one drop, what? and throw them away. You kill a and whole chicken. You don't just keep the same one and just bleed kept, them out. I really like it fresh, you know. They all look the same. It's I, all fresh if I you just vampire? keep the chicken alive. Can we can we talk straight here? Am I a vampire? Because Delilah says I'm a vampire. I don't believe so. If you, well, how much blood are you drinking? I don't need it. I just, it's my ritual. I do it every day. Uh, I don't, I don't know. It. Let's look up the definition of a vampire. <laughs> can you read it to me? Let's, uh, <laughs> let's record at least one episode during the daylight. <laughs> oh, God, you're right. Oh. Let's get back to Hamlet, okay? <laughs> what, is, what is Hamlet like? Hamlet, well, Hamlet's got a lot of problems. Did you get He's to, got major depressive disorder, and I identify with that. Did you get to make out with any other inmates? Mm. Uh, yeah. Why is that so, like, it's a turn-on. It's like a like a fetish where it's like, oh, women in prison. They should make prison. a show about that. Uh, a, is there? Women in prison is a fetish? Yeah. Well, I guess. I mean, I know because I'm a sex expert. <laughs> Duh. God, we got to cover that topic. Sometime. It has to do, it's a control mm-hmm. thing. Uh, oh, uh, it's like a misogyny where it's like. Well, I gotta say, I did not enjoy it. Yeah, I can tell. It was, uh, <laughs> it was, I made some good friends, but um, who, who were your friends? I bet they had colorful nicknames too. Right? They did. Yep. Chiplets. Yeah, my nicknames: uh, Cheese Stick, uh, Ray Bradbury. <laughs> 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 How'd she get her name? How'd she get the name Ray Bradbury? I just just stuck one day. Somebody was like, you know who you remind me of? Ray Bradbury. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call you. <laughs> she was Ray Bradbury from then on. I would have thought you would have like shortened it to RB or something like that. But no. no. We, you had Bradbury. to say the same, the whole name. Who else? Who else is there? Couldn't be an RB because there was... Um, an Arby's? Yeah, <laughs> there was. Somebody was Arby's. <laughs> Because she liked Arby's. Oh. <laughs> and she, have you ever seen one of those, um, you know, the roast beef with the cheese yeah. on the little onion roll? You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, she cool. looked just like one. <laughs> her face or her the whole undercarriage? Works. The whole works. When you looked at her. Her pelvic floor. When you looked at her, <laughs> she just she just reminded you of an onion roll <laughs> with, <laughs> with beef and hot cheese spilling out. God, you should be in the food business. Yeah, that's I like good. food too. That so. should be a Windy City thing. It's like, hey, hey, let me order the uh, uh, the onion roll with extra beef and the cheese. Freeze! You're under arrest. RoboCop here. <laughs> <laughs> what does happen to you? <laughs> <laughs> I just the the Windy City gives me energy. You know, all it's this wind. <laughs> it's windy. Yeah. I want one more nickname. Oh yeah, who is another friend of yours in prison? Uh, Did you ever uh, shorten it to Priz? Uh, uh, New Year's Prizolutions. Oh, uh, resolutions. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Boat Stern. <laughs> what was uh, what was Boat Stern's thing? But well, Boat Stern um, used to own a, a boat business, <laughs> and but she her last name was Stern. No, no, it wasn't her name. She was her name. I don't even know her name. You know, yeah. you get for a long enough time somebody, and then you think. <laughs> What is that person's name? <laughs> and you don't know, yeah, because you've been calling no. him Boat Stern for so long. It's because she had <laughs> um, a boat business, but she only ever worked on the stern, so which is she, the back of the ship for those always, of you non uh, <laughs> n- n- nautical types. <laughs> I would love to go. It's kind of like uh, Macy's. Like you would go to her business and be like, "Hey, I really like this boat. How much is it? Like, you got to go to the uh, the bow for that one. I'm just in the Stearns department. Yeah, it's I'm that, just in the Stearns that, department. That's pretty much. I don't know anything about the bows. You go, you go to the bow department. Yeah. So we just called her Boat Stern because that was all she could tell you about. Every time we'd be like, "Hey, what about sailing? How does that work? So like, do I look like I work on a sail? <laughs> I work on the stern." 
What, what a bunch of colorful people. Well, my name is Dr. John T. Alanese, and that's... Uh, what, uh, should, uh, give me a nickname. Give me a little prison name, you know? Mayonnaise. <laughs> why? <laughs> what? My, no, I... Uh, why? She didn't even have to mayonnaise. think about that one. Yeah, why did I you have to not even think about that? Because Alanese reminds me of mayonnaise. <laughs> so, oh. Just like Hamlet reminds me of fried <laughs> ham. <laughs> Knoxville fried ham, Tic Tac style. Uh, give Delilah a nickname. Uh... <laughs> What's your name? What do you do? What are you into? What are you into, you Delilah? Delilah, hey there. What are you? What I'm are you? into North Korea, <laughs> the National Football League, um, Pyongyang. <laughs> what's that? What's Pyongyang? That's the capital of North Korea where I'm hoping to open up a uh, NFL franchise in the next 10 years. I'm going to call you Piglet. <laughs> yes. Enough. That is so good. Fair now, enough. why? I, I can kind of see, but why? Why Piglet? Um, because... <laughs> Because like Hamlet, because uh, he said he was into football, and football makes me think of pig skin, and yeah. then pig skin makes me think of piglet. God, it's that easy. You don't even have to go to prison to get a good prison nickname. Piglet and mayonnaise. <laughs> that sounds like a good. <laughs> the three, go. We're a good crew here. Piglet, mayonnaise, and Tic Tac. Yo, can I get the uh, piglet mayonnaise and Tic Tac sandwich on a on a windy city roll? Have you ever wondered how come everything I say is food? <laughs> I do wonder that. Yeah, <laughs> I like food. Wow, well, Tic Tac, you're you're very endearing, Tic Tac. But uh, speaking of endearing, let's get to our topic of the day, which is New Year's resolutions. And you oh, know, for Christmas, but, I got to see my family. And it was fun. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Can can I help you, uh, officer? Officer? Oh, oh my God! They're putting handcuffs. Tic Tac, what's going on? I don't know. She just got to see her she family. She just got no. out. I mean, no. Oh my was, God! You got the wrong Tic Tac. <laughs> oh no! Listen, we can speak for her character, sir. Oh my God! It's a robot. It's a robot cop. They have real robot cops, in, in and he's Chicago. on a Segway. <laughs> He's segueing her off. Okay, listen, we're going to have to... Uh, Tic Tac, no, don't cry, Tic Tac. Don't cry. Oh, God, you're an ugly crier. You can really see the Tic Tacs. In- okay, listen, we're going to have to go. Sorry, we'll get to New Year's resolutions maybe next year. I don't know. Um, and we'll put the post the chart on mine. But that's it for the sex experts. we got to go bail out a uh, whole Tic Tac here. Uh, I am your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I'm Piglet. <laughs> that's right, I'm Mayonnaise. And we'll see you sex time. That's our show. If you like what you heard and you think it was worth a dollar, join the official Sexperts fan club at patreon.com backslash sexperts podcast. A special thanks to the Push Comedy Theater and all of our supporters. Bye-bye.